Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about synthetic division of polynomials. And I actually have some steps here uh, to show you guys. So these are the steps. Um, and here's the thing about synthetic division. It only works when you're, the number you're dividing by, like the binomial you're dividing by, uh, has a lead coefficient of 1 uh, into the 1 degree. So to give you an example, um, basically if you have like uh, maybe this problem here, like x squared, you know, plus x plus 1, it's a simple problem. Uh, divided by x minus 1. Okay, if there was a 2 in front of here, it wouldn't work. So I don't know if it's if they mentioned to you, if your instructor mentioned to you, but synthetic division only works when when your lead coefficient is 1 and the degree is 1 here. It won't really work if uh, if you have like a x squared here or if a 3 inside here. If you did have like a 3 right here, you'd have to divide the top and the bottom by... Um, You'd have to multiply by one third, one third up here, and one third down here. But we're not going to get into that. And uh, these are basically the steps right here. And just so you get familiarized with terms, um, when you're doing simple division, this is your divisor, this is your dividend, this is your quotient, the answer you get, and this is the remainder. So, um, example, if you had like 11 halves, that's we know it's five and a half. So it's like 11 divided by 2, which is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract the 2, and you get uh, a 1. And then the 1 goes over the 2, so you get remainder 1 half. Or in this case here, you'll see it's you're actually adding the 1 half. And your answer would look something like this, just in basic math. But for um, synthetic division, you'll get answers that look like this with a plus sign here. Okay, so let's let's just do this problem here following the steps. So you write down the coefficients of the dividend, uh, and you insert dummy terms if necessary. I'll explain that on another video. A dummy term basically means if this x wasn't here, and if you had x squared plus 1, then what you got to do is um, you got to insert a 0 plus 0x zero here. Okay, so I'll say that again. If this wasn't here, if this x squared plus 1 was the, was what you had on the top, and this wasn't here, you'd have to add plus 0x. Okay, and so let's go ahead and uh, do this problem here. So the coefficients are basically going to be 1, 1, and this is just a 1. So you're going to have 1, 1, and 1. Okay, and what you're going to do is change the sign of the constant in the divisor. This is the constant in the divisor. You're going to change the sign to a positive 1 and you're going to bring down the first coefficient of the dividend. Okay, so let's set this up and uh, put this here. The first coefficient of the dividend basically is this one. That's what I mean by bring this down. Always bring this number down. So if this had been like a 2 in front of here, the 2 would be here. You bring the 2 down. Then you multiply, add, and repeat. Okay, multiply 1 times 1. Actually, let me do this in a different color. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you have 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So your answer is going to be this. Your answer is going to be 1 degree less. You see, your answer is the sequence of coefficients of the new polynomial, but 1 degree less than the original, meaning that there's basically an x here to the 1 power, so like this, x to the 1. That's 1 degree less than this one. Then the next one, next term, is going to have an x to the 0, which is 1 degree less than this one here. But it's customary to just write x to the 0 is just, you know, 1, and 2 times 1 is just 2, so your answer here is going to look like this. x plus 2 plus 3 over, and what you're going to do is your remainder basically is the um, is this number over the divisor. So your divisor here is going to be x minus 1. Okay, So this would be a final answer. Okay. And let's do one more problem here. Uh, 
how about this one? How about x squared plus 2x plus 3? And that's all over x plus 1. Doing the same thing we did before, write down the coefficients. 1, 2, 3. Change the sign of the constant in the divisor. In this case here, we have a 1, so it's going to become negative 1 and we set this up like we did before and what we're going to do is bring down the first coefficient this is a 1 negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 add going down add going down and we're going to get 1 1 times 1 is just 1 uh, negative 1 and that's going to be 2 so 1 degree less is going to make this x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 1 okay so I've got a few more videos that explain uh, some more difficult problems but I wanted you to get the idea uh, of what synthetic division is and um, the steps involved and like I said before there's something called dummy terms which I'll explain later but look for the other videos and uh, you'll find that uh, they're just as simple as this. The numbers are bigger, maybe a little scarier, but really it's, it's all the same thing. So look for those videos, and thanks for watching.